How's it going, you sexy beasts? Yesterday, the Planetside 2 World Domination Series preseason has officially launched. What's this, you may ask? Well, in the earlier days of Planetside 2, the main complaint people had was the lack of a meta game. Something more than just Team Deathmatch and move on to the next map. Well, it was a long time coming, but here it is. The World Domination Series takes all three factions and pits them against one another across all the servers to see who is the most badass. This preseason started yesterday, the 17th of September, and runs on until October 21st. So, what the World Domination Series actually entails, though, is pretty cool. Each outpost and facility are now allocated a point value, and each empire is competing to accrue the most highest score. Points are awarded every hour to each empire based on the amount of territory they own, awarding three points per held location. So if your empire only owns five locations on the map, your team will be awarded 15 points. Alternatively, capturing outposts and facilities will also yield your team points. So capturing a small outpost will yield one point, a large outpost awards two points, and a facility will award five points to the empire capturing these locations. As this is just the preseason, the objective will remain territory control for these first five weeks. In other seasons, I'm sure there will be other objectives, such as Alerts 1, most biolab captures, most tank kills, and possibly a whole bunch of other stuff. So these are just a few of my own ideas, but I'm sure SOE will come up with something much, much better. As with any war, to the victor goes the spoils. The World Domination Series is no exception. Participants on the Winning Empire for each week will be awarded a 3-day 50% bonus XP boost. Those on the Winning Empire at the end of the entire season will be awarded Empire-specific titles and decals to show how badass you are and your Empire truly is. So, the best part about the World Domination Series is the fact that there is an official page that you can check out to view each individual server's stats in regards to the total points accrued by each faction, which is updated every hour when each team is awarded points for territory control. Shown statistics range from today's points earned thus far, the total points earned this week, as well as the total points earned for this entire season. This page will be linked in the description below for you to check out and make the wonderful observation that the TR is kicking everyone's ass. Come on, NC and VS, we gotta kick it into gear. Overall, I think this is a pretty awesome idea to put more incentive into the game without actually having to add anything inside of the game itself. This is very similar to the way that Valve handed the Soldier vs. Demo Man War that went on a while back with Team Fortress 2. All in all, the only improvements that I could see would be to give something else for the losing teams. Currently, only the winning team gets the XP boosts, the title, and the decal. Seems like a little much if the Terran Zerg is going to get it all every week. Think it'd be pretty pimp to give all participants at least a 24 hour XP boost at the end of each week and have the 3 day XP boost go to the winners. Uh, that's enough about my opinion. What are your thoughts about the World Domination series? Are you excited to see a much larger scale being added into the game? Or do you not really care and just want to play normally? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys like this video and the information it portrayed, please give it a mega super awesome big ass thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs it down and let me know what I can improve upon. If you'd want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and subscribe. It's free.